Kiyoka is a show that I did not expect to care for much. It's a high school slice of life and one without as much of a plot to get into, so just nothing to excite me here. I do appreciate all the care that they put into it, and well, in the end, I did like it. Its lack of a real goal for the characters to aim for made it not really stand out, at least not as much as it did for other people. Though there was one aspect that did stand out, and that was the whole mystery aspect of the show. Pretty much every episode of the show presents Hotra with some kind of mystery to solve, and one of the fun parts of the show is piecing together the answers along with Hotro, with it sometimes being a race to figure out the answer beforehand. So I want to delve into some of these mysteries today to explain why I think they work so well, specifically the film arc of the show. There will be some spoilers for that arc, so if you haven't seen Hyoka and are interested in a slice of life mystery show, go watch up through that arc before continuing the video. The fun of a mystery show is to try to figure out what happened either before or along with the main character. But in order to do this, you need all the information, and this is something that Hyoka does well. Oftentimes we'll get small details that don't seem important, but are, and the experience of trying to find these is really great. Hyoka even takes advantage of this narrative trope by establishing the fact that it always provides all the clues, and then with the episode near the end, provides no options that would make sense. The viewer knows that they've seen the information they need to get the answer, but the show has eliminated all the likely choices, potentially leaving the viewer lost. The interesting thing here is that while the show eliminated all the likely options, they never eliminated the unlikely choice, a classic case of when you've eliminated the impossible, whatever remains, no matter how unlikely, must be the truth. The film arc, though, is a very interesting case of mystery, though. The classic literature club is shown an unfinished movie made by the film club where one of the characters is found killed, with it being a sort of locked room mystery. Hotoro is then tasked with figuring out how the writer intended for the story to end. The great thing about this mystery is how many layers it has. The first layer is obvious who committed the murder. But then you also have the question of why that character committed the murder, and with it being a fictional event Hotro is trying to figure out, he also has to consider the other aspects of the story, how it's presented, which are blurred because the writer wasn't there when the movie was filmed. So he has to consider the props they brought, the instructions they did get from the writer, and even the writer as a person in the type of story she would want to tell. This is a wonderful mystery because of all the questions and it allowed the arc to span several episodes, each episode letting us get more and more information. Another key aspect of the arc was how they are able to develop Hotro as a character. Most of the mysteries we had seen so far, he had been able to solve pretty easily, but this was the toughest challenge he had faced so far. The challenge really pushed him, and we saw Hotro actually care about solving this case. It was a matter of pride for him, and this is something Irisu was able to pick up on and manipulate further, and there is the sort of mind games she was playing with Hotro, and because Kyoka is so much told from Hotro's point of view, she was also manipulating the viewer, lying to them to get what she wanted. There is also a lot of misdirection with the mystery, with where both Hotro and the viewer were led down the wrong path, even though there are multiple signs that Hotro was wrong in his hypothesis. Also, the fact that Hotro was wrong ended up being one of the greatest twists. I remember watching the episode where Hotro said that the murderer was a cameraman, and I ended up guessing it myself shortly before he did. But we were both wrong. This was able to be a great moment for the show because Hotro, who the show had built up to being this super genius at solving mysteries, had failed. He was desperate to find a solution, so he jumped to the one that seemed to work, ignoring all the signs that he might be wrong. And even after he was wrong, there was still another episode in the arc exploring what the author of the murder mystery wanted and the types of stories that she drew inspiration from. The balance a great mystery must strive for here is between giving the viewer enough information so they can solve the mystery, but not so much that the answer is obvious. And by having Hotra pursue the wrong path, the show was able to push the clues that Hotra had missed to the side in a way that just felt natural. And throughout the process, we learn not only about the mystery Hotro is able to solve, but also about Hotro as a person and the relationships that he shares with his friends and family. Another aspect I specifically liked about this mystery is the fact that the stakes were low. And because the stakes are low, it's okay for the main character to lose whatever competition he is in. If the stakes are really high, if lives are on the line, or even the main character's life, you know that he is probably going to win. But here, 
it is okay for him to fail. And seeing characters fail can oftentimes be a lot more powerful than having the characters win everything. So that is my basic thoughts on the mysteries of Hyoka. And if you want to hear me talk more about Hyoka, go check out the podcast over on Visual Evaluation channel. Also, huge shout out to him who this video would not have been possible without because he was kind enough to edit the visuals for me. And he also helped me with some of the script and making sure that what I had about Hyoka was correct because he knows the show a lot better than I do. Anyway, thank you for watching and I will see you all next time.